Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie! I'm MCF Papa, and this is part 7. Ooh, my feet are so numb and cold. Can I stomp him? Ah, that's a bit better. Somehow. That's better. I don't quite follow. Okay. I guess the guy's stuck in the wall. Tubs warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. Well, since there's honeycomb right there, get the ginger. Could this tanked up be considered a boss? I don't think so. You do attack him four times and then he'll give you a jiggy for it. So, who knows. Quiet, please. The famous tipped-up choir will now perform my latest work. Bit short, isn't it, Shell Boy? We'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. Oh dear, forgotten already? Here it is again. I didn't forget. Attack the poor turtles. Hmm, <laughs> not too bad. Try lesson two. <laughs> okay. Is this thing randomized? Because if it's randomized, that's insanely good luck. <laughs> ah, splendid! You just need one more lesson. Magnificent, a true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. Get a load, though, of the tip tops. Don't they look cute? Don't even mind you beating them up. Sorry, there's nothing more I can teach you. That was really simple, though, with, like, each one of them having the 
ones I needed right next to each other. I wonder if I just got lucky or if there's something more with it. Well. Ow. Okay. Still no sign of the dirt mound. Unless maybe they hid it in one of these tree trunks. And now why is this bad? Well, it's popped up. I guess you can't actually use it. Unless maybe the dirt mounds where the stupid egg was I couldn't actually open. Okay. Oh, brother. Right here at the start. <laughs> These are the wading boots. Chicken legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken or kazooie, let's go grab a pair. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Great, now you know all the swamp's new moves. Yeah. And now here, like, it isn't even really a new move you learn. It's just an item becomes unlocked for you. Can I shoot eggs? Yeah. Yummy, Croc disliked that. I skipped the Croctus because I thought that was something for the alligator to do. Okay. My entire computer went black screen for a moment there. And then came back. What's up with that? Okay, let's see if this is any better. Ah, yeah, I should have done this a while ago. <laughs> Oops. I already explored here, so it would have made a lot more sense to have just done it. That's on me. Oh. And that's what some of these platforms are for that I just thought they were kind of useless before. That's it. Oh, I can actually get there with these. 
I guess I do need the crocodile. Thankfully, they only need one egg. They don't make you, uh, like, take time firing, like, five of them. Man, that last one was really quick. <laughs> Okay. I do really like the remix of the main theme they play for the boots. Oh wait, no. Oh, maybe like as the alligator you can go in the nostrils. Yeah, now, this is a maze, but it doesn't even really have any dead ends or anything. It's like legit, just a linear pad. I thought they'd probably try and hide one of those. Yeah. Oh, a golden feather too. I suppose the golden feathers could really make some of these things trivial, like the frogs that attack you in this swamp, for example. Anyway, it's Mumbo! Hooray! Oh wait, before I step on Mumbo, what's up here? Uh, oh? I was about to be disappointed that it was just some basic feathers, but I guess there is a honeycomb up there. If I can ever properly backflip up there again. 
Dang it. There we go. And now I can give Mumbo his tokens. I've been collecting for so long, finally, the tokens have a purpose. Isn't that amazing? Wait, Bumbo need new boots. Only kidding. Uh-huh. They still actually make, like, alligator skin luggage and that sort of thing? I don't know. And why does Mumbo need new boots? He has boots right here. there to get as the alligator. Can I jump off? Oh, I could. Man, the alligator goes slow. slow. What's over here? Absolutely nothing. That's always fun. I guess that's just somewhere you can fall down. Oh yeah, I got... Oh, I didn't get the notes here. I thought this was the place with the Jinjo. I guess just... Go around the whole level, and I'll get everything. There wasn't anything else there, was there? Yeah, I can go in here. Oh, I bet in the other nostril there's, yeah, three more notes. Oh, you can actually jump. That's good. Her, her, her. I'm Mr. Vile, greediest crock of all. Play my game to win a prize. Alright. Game is simple. Eat more red yumbles than me. Ready, go. Those sneakers are from another later world. Is it possible to actually... I guess... Maybe the crocodile can wear them? Even in the transformed? Yeah, I guess the strategy is to kind of eat them out of his mouth when he's about to eat one. Ha! Ah. Victory is mine. Grr! You only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not right. Oh, they're grumblies. I thought they were just called grumbles. Ah, dang it. Yeah, he does seem to be moving a lot faster this time. Oh, dang it! Oh 
wonder how randomized this game is. I assume... Ah, Lucky Greeny wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. It's still not over. I guess they were really proud of this... ...game, so they're like... ...get as much mileage out of it as possible. Critters are based on anything real. Like the yellow ones kind of look like worms, and the red ones kind of look like apples. I wonder if that was what they were going for. Maybe. Mr. Vile never lost before. Green can have prize. Mr. Vile now is tougher challenge if Greeny not scared. Must three. Hell no. I'd rather slide off like a slug. Do I need any? Oh, I can use the golden feather. No. No. Excuse me, I didn't mean to talk to you. Sheesh. That's kind of weird, though, that they have the shoes there to make it easier, I guess, when you really don't even need the shoes. But also, like, it would require you to backtrack. Like, why would you want to specifically backtrack. I guess maybe if you're like a younger kid and it's your first time playing this game or playing any N64 game and you're struggling to complete it, they put that in as a fallback. I don't know. Anyway, now I can finally get all the sleep. And the last ginger. And the mumbo token while I'm at it. Necessary extra life. Hooray! Alright, now. What's it at? 8 of 10. Oh, there's that egg thing. Yeah. Maybe I'm supposed to chomp it as the transformation? Maybe. If I can find the egg again, I think it's back here. Yeah. Up that egg. 
Okay, I'm back. It seems to be a uh, move with Banjo and Kazooie I need to do, which I thought I did, but I guess maybe I did it. That's fun. Oh, wait, why am I going up here? I just need to go back to Mumbo then, I guess, to transform back. Because I think I'm done with this transformation. Unless there's something else to do in the hub world, in which case I will be very disappointed. stuff first. And we gotta be quick, I assume. And that's why I did that. So I don't gotta waste a ton of time. Going back up. See, didn't even need to go fast or anything. Really. Well, I could get that honeycomb, but I just lose it instantly. <laughs> Swamp, isn't it? Yep. I guess I'll go back out to the hub and see what the boots do that are behind here. Or wait, no, the boots were up here more. There's something to be said, though, for the art style of this game, just how elegant it is. Like, I don't think it would be nearly as good if they did make, like, an HD remake of this and stuff, because it's just, like, the graphics are simple, but they're still detailed enough to know what's going on and that. 
And like, if they had put HD fur effects on Banjo, I think that would lose some of its charm. Well, put in the pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm pretty sure Freeze Easy Peaks the next level, but I didn't. I wasn't even planning on like unlocking it here, I guess it just happy accident. Oh, there's boots up there, but what's here? Oh, it is for the alligator, isn't that? There. Yeah. So you're literally forced, though, to backtrack there. Because I doubt you would have been able to break the ice without Banjo and Kazooie. Maybe with the alligator's chomp. Well, anyway, I will be back in a little bit when I come back here with the alligator. All right, now I got the proper transformation, so I can go back. through the little tunnel. Wouldn't it be funny if all this was just for Brentilda? But no, it's for Cheeto. Cheeto the Spellbook, you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, Book Brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. Witch Lost Book, Finders Bear and Bird are. Spell they get. We sure do, bag lady. Come on, book boy, give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Blue Eggs on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove World. Help you it will. Thanks, Mr. Cheeto. Hidden in where other spell books are, them you should find. I've got this skirt, so when I'm thinner, it really makes me look a winner. Alright, just gotta check every side of this room. Make sure there's no stupid Brentilda wanting to give any other tips. But, anyway, that'll do it for this part. Next time, we'll go on to Freeze Easy Peak and also put in the Cheeto code. So, see you then.